See friends, some people act in their lives. Some people live in their actions. How? Here is the story of a stage performer who completely involves himself in the character which he performs. He gives justification to whatever role he plays. Let us know the interesting story of that stage performer. Once there lived a stage performer who was deeply involved in his character that he played. The king came to know about his performance and wanted to test him. He was called to the king's court. The king said, We heard about your performance. I myself want to see your performance as a saint in real life. If I am satisfied, you will be rewarded. See friends, now let us learn grammar through this story. At first, we discuss about the parts of speech in this paragraph. Once they lived a king, a stage performer. Here, lived is the verb. And what is known here? Performer is noun. Then what is stage? Stage is said to be adjective because it uh, qualifies the noun performer. Normally, stage can also be taken as noun. But in this sentence, it should be considered as adjective. When we take the second part of the sentence who is deeply involved in his character that he played. And you take the second part, who is deeply involved in his character that he played. Here involved is verb, deeply involved. How involved he is? Deeply. So here deeply is adverb as it qualifies the verb. When adjective qualifies the noun, adverb qualifies the verb. In his character that he played, here, his is, what is his? His is pronoun. And here, in his preposition. Who is deeply involved in his character that he played? Again, he is pronoun. Played is verb. Now, here actually, two sentences are joined together. Once there lived a stage performer, who is deeply involved in his character that he played. When you split the sentence into two parts, we can say the sentence in this way. Once there lived a stage performer, he is deeply involved in his character that he played. See friends, here there is slight, slight mistake. That is, the whole narration is in past tense. So here we have to use the word was, who was deeply involved in his character that he played. And now come to the point, once they lived a stage performer is one sentence, he was deeply involved in his character that he played is another sentence and here two sentences are joined together by using the word relative pronoun that is who, who can be taken as a relative pronoun and at the same time it can also be taken as conjunction because here it is joining two sentences together, in that way it is conjunction. And instead of he, we are using the word who. So, in that way it is relative pronoun also. The king came to know about his performance and wanted to test him. Here, the king is the is article. Which article? The, the is called definite article or indefinite article. The is said to be definite article. And this is also considered as one of the parts of speech and king is common noun came came is the verb came to know here to know should be taken as infinitive about his performance what is about about is preposition his is pronoun performance is noun and wanted to test him here and is conjunction wanted verb to test is again infinitive him is pronoun see here friends in the first sentence we use the word performer and in the second sentence we use the word performance performer is also known and performance is also known but 
what is the difference between performer and performance here performer the one who performs action is called performer right so here performer is noun but it is not abstract noun a person is seen clearly so it is common noun but performance is said to be abstract noun performance is witnessed in different way actually performance is said to be abstract noun he was called to the king's court he pronoun was called here was called is in passive form it's in passive form he was called to the king's court here king apostrophes possessive noun whose court was it king's court so he it is said to be possessive the king said we heard about your performance again we we is said to be pronoun first person pronoun in plural form we heard heard is verb about again about is preposition your performance your is also pronoun performance again noun i myself want to see your performance as a saint in real life i myself here myself is said to be reflexive pronoun when we are uh, giving stress about anything we use such reflexive pronouns i myself want to see your performance as a saint in real life here is article if i am satisfied you will be awarded if i am satisfied you will be awarded here this is the combination of two parts of sentence if i am satisfied is one part you will be awarded is another. we already learnt about uh, these classes sentences and all in our uh, previous class so in this way whenever you read a paragraph you just find out grammatical aspects in that paragraph second paragraph onwards you only find out the grammatical aspects in that paragraph yes maharaj i can give complete justice to the role you gave me but i need some time said he of course you can take how much time you want to said the king he left the place he stopped eating food for many days he grew beard wore saffron clothes came to the place sat under a tree and started meditating everyone except the king in his country thought a saint came to the place and there was a big crowd to take his blessings the king wanted to test him he called his courtiers and said you place these valuable things in front of the saint they did so on seeing those valuable things he left the place without touching them the king ordered his men to bring him to his court he addressed the man impersonating a saint see man i sent you valuable things you can lead a happy life with those why didn't you accept them see maharaj you asked me to play the role of a saint a real saint never expects anything from others otherwise there is no justification in the role which you gave me i hope i made justice to my role if you give me my reward i will go said he politely the king was impressed by his words he said i want to see as a lion can you play the role of a lion why not maharaj i can play but a lion is very ferocious i enter the life of a lion if i play the role it may create havoc in the country said the performer you don't worry about it we will take all precautions said the king he left the place disguised himself as a lion and came to the king's court roaring at that time the little prince who was playing with his ball outside came inside and hit the lion with that ball 
The lion started roaring and jumped onto the prince and pierced its pointed nails deep into his flesh and the prince died. Later, he came back to his original form and fell on king's feet and said, See Maharaj, I told you before, that is the nature of a lion. When I play the any role, I live in my role. Now I played the role of a lion. I completely forgot that I was a man. The result is your son's death. What could the king do then? Should he hang him for taking the life of his beloved son? Or should he reward the performer for doing justice to his role? The king rewarded and sent him. But at the same time, his heart was boiling with revenge. Days were going on. Still the king could not come out of his agony. He had intimacy with his barber. The barber gave him an advice. Look Maharaj, ask the man to perform the role of Sati Sahagamna, who should burn alive with her husband died. Let us see if he could give justice to his role. If he did so, he would be victim to fire. The king liked this idea. At that time, a beggar died. The stage performer was called to enact the role of the beggar's wife and take part in Sati Sahagamna. He agreed. Then he came in Lady Getup. The dead body of the beggar placed on the heap of wood. He sat on that bed of wood and placed his head on his lap and sat still. Fire was lit. Everybody including the king thought he would be food to fire God. He was living in his character. Goddess took pity on him. God Varun took pity on him. Showered rain. His body was carried away by the river. He knew swimming and saved himself. He went to king's court. The king could not believe his eyes. Are you still alive? We thought you were burnt in fire, said he. Yes, Maharaj, I reached heaven. Yamadharma Ra said that I have long span of life, so send me back. The king was shocked to hear this. Really? Then did you see our ancestors and my son died? Asked the king with enthusiasm. Yes, Maharaj. Now your ancestors had grown long beard. They wanted your barber to be sent for shaving their beard. He said so because when he was about to meet the king after saving his life, he heard king's men talking that barber only gave him this idea of sati. The king declared his men to hang the barbers so that he would go to heaven for shaving his ancestor's beard. This story also reveals that we come to this world to perform various roles in our lives. We have to do justice to our roles. One more moral aspect in this story is work is worship. Whatever duty we perform, we have to perform it with complete commitment. In this video, all four language skills are tested. Listening, speaking, reading and writing. Apart from that, even grammar aspects are also discussed. Both speaking and listening skills are there in the first part of the video. And in the second part of the video onwards, we have everything in the form of narration. So, we are reading and that reading skill is also developed and everything is in the form of written. So, writing part is also discussed. So, all four skills, listening, speaking, reading and writing skills are in this video. Let's come with some more interesting topic in our next video. Till then, bye.